It's been a long time since I've been online. Ha. What's up, man? What's up, Anthony? Do you have fungus? <laughs> no. No? Anymore? On vacation, bro? <laughs> All right, guys. This is a pillar that this guy's going to be working on. And he already made his little rings design. You see them in there? Those clear things. Now he has to fleece them. And we're going to see how that continues to work out. I think he could have been done with this like yesterday. But he was taking his time making little keychains for people. See, you might see how much he loves you. See how much he loves you guys, bro. You never, ever, you never organized, bro. Let's go check out the car that is using. This is the car. Look at all those cables. All those cables are for speakers. Speakers and mid-range. They go to the doors. So here's. One door open, and this is gonna be for the four inch mid range. This one's gonna be for the six inch, and this one up here is for the one inch. So, this is a three way component that they're gonna be doing on this car. This is a Honda CRV, it's a custom build. We wanna do some nice pods, which that's what you saw right there. They're gonna go up there. The door is gonna have two speakers, the rears are gonna have some speakers, and we're gonna be doing the custom box. This is gonna be amazing. Radio. So when did you think you learned how to do this, bro? Do you think you're professional enough that you can call yourself professional? No. Professional means when you live by doing whatever you do. When you live by doing whatever you do? So if you make a living and doing it, then you're professional. Yeah. No, because I see tinners fuck up all the time and that's what they do. Tinners live to do tent, but they're not professional either. No. Profesional es cuando tú comes de lo que haces. Yeah. Es un profesional. No sé, tú vives de lo que haces. A veces. Sí. No todos los días. A veces no me alcanza. A veces es profesional. Eso me lo enseñó mi gran maestro en ti. Oh shit. Dude, this is so stiff, it's a little cold. Okay, so my wife just told me that they're gonna turn off the fucking electricity because of all the fire fires that have been going on. Nah, you don't pay the fucking bill, man. They don't pay. You didn't pay the bill, homie. No, listen to this. <laughs> listen to this. She says that the electric company is gonna be shutting off the power. In LA, bro. And here. No, in LA. Is it, why would they do that? In LA, because the fires are too big right now, they can't contain it. And they want to prevent the fire from growing. No, they said that the fires are starting because of their electrical hit powers. There you go, that's why they want to shut it up. To prevent anything else from happening. The winds are so strong that it's tearing down power lines. There you go, that's why they're going to shut But they're it doing it here too. It just said Hammett. Riverside, California. Yeah. So we're gonna be four days with no power. Oh, it's close. Okay. All right. So, Anthony, what about the speakers now? Speakers are, like I said, 100 bucks. Mm -hmm. uh, but we just need to see where they're gonna go. Well, there, you know what? Actually, there's a place in the door for them already. Okay. There is. So, you know that if you look at that side, the, the, on the sides of the doors, you got that plastic little bit. It's going to help the customer. But I'm back. Thank you guys for watching. We're live. Dude. Look, we're live, man. Yeah. Facebook, bro. Facebook? Alright, this is Junior. Junior is getting the system ready for what? The, uh, what, what, what do we do? CRV. CRV. Look at these Moscone amps, man. Look how baby the amp this is. 
It's a baby, but it costs more than my car. I'm just saying I drive a $500 car, you know? <laughs> more than $500. I, that's why I say it's more than my car and I drive a $500 car. Just, you know, the commuter. Look how sexy and cute these amps are. Are you not open these yet? Are you going to use these right now? Uh, I'm going to start measuring everything. This is going to run the GS speakers. So I can start mocking up where everything's going to go. Vanessa Perez is watching. Hi, Vanessa. We got to wear gloves when you're touching these amplifiers, bro. Let him. First song I play is We Are the Champions. <laughs> okay. Well, look, uh, look what you put in the uh, Mustang sounds good. Yeah. There's no doubt. Yeah, I just decided I wanted a fuller sound. That's why we're going to put it in the door. And it's made for the door is made for it. Actually. Yeah. The option on the Mustang. Can I stack those? I would want to. You wouldn't want to? No, I want to show them. Oh, okay. The... No, but what size? What size what? Fits. Five and a quarter? Six and a half? Cut? Are you going to cut? No, he does. Do you want to cut? I don't know. Let's go look. Let's go. <laughs> I know what I'm going to do. So this is going to go under here. Mm-hmm. Hello? Or should we show this one? Yeah, this one. Well, we're not going to show none, but this one here. These two under. This one, I don't know where to fit this, but it's too big. Seriously, this one is too huge to fit anywhere. Just put it like well, bolt, bolt it to the screws on this that. This is gonna be with this. So actually, we we'll put this. I can't believe that fucking amp is smaller than the crossovers. Like that. So we'll put these under. What's up, what's up? Yeah, I think, I think I like this uh, setup right here, no? So from here, goes into here. Yeah. From here goes to those, and these, and then this goes into those. Yeah. I like it. I like it, guys. Should we make a little window for this? Yeah. Cause I would be like, people want to know that why is this, why is the amplifier bigger than the crossovers? You're not gonna see these. Though. So we got the Moscone amplifiers. This is a four channel, four channel, one channel, and then you got the single two channel. This is Junior from Audio Systems. I'm one of the fabricators here. So we're gonna to explain to you. How to install a speaker on the CRV and the reason what we're doing and what we're doing with it. So this is a factory speaker and it has its own size and we can't remove the speaker from here to mount our own speaker. So there's a reason why there's also this, this space in between it. Uh, so we gotta install this speaker and as you can see it's a lot deeper. It's a lot beefier speaker. Now let me tell you guys. We just took third place worlds with this speaker. We took first place insta, first place state with this speaker as well. So we want to take out the max power out of this, all the juice and all the sound from this speaker out through the door. So the way we accomplished that is we made these brackets for it. So the reason why we did these brackets and the reason why we're using these materials is they're gonna last forever. So we want to go with plastic so it's weather resistant. Um, the, reason, the reason we we're gonna do this is to get the height. We want the height to be the same as the factory speaker, as you can see, same height. And there's a reason for this foam right here. So I'm gonna give you that information so you guys know what you guys need to do to get it installed. So we did this rubber piece. Now the cool thing about this rubber piece, we're gonna show you on the other one, is that it forms. So since it forms, that's cool. We were able to actually touch 
onto the door with the foam, with the rubber here, and form the door. So all the sound is not gonna get stuck in your door. It's all gonna come out of your door. So that's, that's why we're doing this. And that's the reason why factory did it too. We don't want sound to get stuck in your door. So we wanna come out. So this is the finished product of what we built. So this is our actual stage three install. So we have a couple stages, different ways we installed it. I mean, it all depends on the customer's budget. So another reason why we did this rubber, rubber piece is the customer is very worried about his uh, speaker. He's had in the past like expensive speakers and they get damaged by water because the connections are here. And if you don't put that rubber piece, this is how it looks. So those connections are there, water falls in there, your wire rust, and there's no more connection. And it damages the speaker over time. So when we put the actual rubber piece, you can't get to the connection. All you can see is the magnet. So we accomplished what the customer was worried about. What up, man? This is Anthony's truck. Some footage. It's not the whole ordeal. It's just a little look of what we did in the beginning. Now, this footage is probably two to three months old, but that's because it's a big project. So, we're going to see some of it in this section. Hope you guys enjoy this. Anthony, this is your truck. So, go. Check out the doors. Tommy, that doesn't look fucking ridiculous. Why are you wet on your own self? It's not right. Huh? It's fly as fuck. But anyways, this is a long project. I'm only making a video right now because they're doing something. But this is the interior. You notice the interior lines? Do you notice the lines? Yeah, boy. Cool, man. That's all I got for you guys right now. I want to thank you. Next couple days, we'll have more footage for you. And on uh, that build, the Honda CRV is, is going to be a little bit longer before we get that knocked out. Also, there's a Toyota Camry coming in the build, too. That one's going to be really cool. And as soon as we get closer to getting uh, more stuff done on the truck, you guys will be a part of that, too. Thanks a lot for joining. Sorry I haven't posted a video in a while. Like, last couple weeks. But... I am going to make it up to you by giving some badass builds. Cool. Thanks, guys. Comment, like, subscribe. You know the deal.